giraffe and lion class. It might be afternoon when you see this. So today is Friday and we're just finishing up our unit on continents of the world. So I thought I'd just finish and summarize what we've been learning already to help you remember everything. So who remembers the continents? We have North America, especially USA where Nathan comes from, South America, I love South America for the lovely dancing. We have Africa. Africa is full of the big, big animals, the wild animals and some very yummy food and amazing music and dancing also. Europe, that's where Kaiti is and Teacher Ellie is in Europe too. We have Asia, very big Asia. Many of you are there now, I'm in Asia. Riri's in China, Jado's in Bangkok, many of you are in Japan. And then we have Australia, that's where I come from. I come from over here. The state is Queensland and I come from the Gold Coast. Uh, just away from the Gold Coast in the mountain area where there's rainforest and close to the beach. And here is Antarctica, super cold. Okay, so let's have a look. Do you remember what is a continent? Okay, continent is a very big amount of land. And then normally inside the continent, we have different countries. So example, in Asia, we have Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, Laos, uh, China, okay? Australia is different. Australia is only Australia, but we have different states in Australia. It says, did you know that continents only cover 29% of the Earth? The rest of the Earth's surface is water. It means in the world, there's so much water and less land. Okay? So let's start with Asia. Two-thirds of the world's population live in Asia. So we're just starting to learn about fractions now. So you'll understand that soon. It means two, of out of, uh, two of out of every three people in the world live in Asia. That means so many people in Asia. Um, some of the most popular countries, China and India. Okay, many of you know about China. India, teacher uh, mightily in the office comes from India. The Himalayas is where the world's tallest mountains are. Okay, and there's many amazing favorite animals in you guys all love Africa you know all about the big an animals in Africa we love watching Mia Cat Manor and coloring with Tinga Tinga um, also Africa has some very beautiful places it has beaches it has forests um, some of the major countries Egypt Nigeria South Africa and the longest river in the world is the Nile River so Africa is very amazing Jaguar. 
Sloth is the animal that's so slow. It takes a long time just to cross the road and it has long nails. Okay, Antarctica. Super cold Antarctica. It's covered almost totally with ice. So we learned a bit about Antarctica too. We learned that the ice is starting to melt. So we need to start to take care of the planet more. It's very cold and very windy. And it's actually a desert. There's no trees and not a lot of rain. Uh, lots of scientists like to go to Antarctica to study about it. And it's the home of penguins and seals and the albatross. That's a type of bird. Okay, Europe, home to Katie. Europe has a lot of countries, 44 countries. And you might know some of them, like Germany, UK, Teacher Ellie's in the UK, um, also France, um, Austria is where Kaiti is, and some of the fruit that comes from Europe, apples, pears, and raspberries. Uh, it says here the majority of Australians have ancestors from Europe. That means, like Teacher Tara, we only started moving to Australia about 200 and 200 years ago. So, first we were all from Europe. Like my mummy, she was born in England. And then Teacher Tara, I'm the first one born in Australia. And some of the animals in Europe, foxes, wolves, and they have bears also. Australasia. We call it Asia. Uh, we call it Australia, but some people call it Australasia. So it's an island. The Great Barrier Reef, which is a coral reef, is in Australia. You see here? Next week we're going to learn all about coral reefs. The original people in Australia came here 50,000 years ago. And Australia is quite close to Asia. We have so many amazing animals that you know. Koalas, kangaroos, emus. Uh, today teacher sent a video of a wombat to some of you also. They're really cute. Okay, so I really, really hope you, learnt, you enjoyed learning about the different continents. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll see you all again on Monday with our new unit under the sea.